Hi coders, welcome to CodeChiana and in this video we are going to take a look at how you can install Python 3.9.1 in Windows 10. Alright, so let's get started. Now we are going to open Chrome. You can open Firefox or Edge if you prefer. And we are going to navigate to python.org. Alright, and now that is opened, you can either navigate to downloads and then click on this Python 3.9.1. However, please note that it cannot be used with Windows 7 or earlier version if you're currently working with either Windows 7 or earlier versions. In that case, you need to click on this view the full list of downloads button. So let's click on this one first. And from here, you can navigate to any of the previous version of Python. However, if you're working with Windows 10, then all you need to do is click on this download Python 3.9.1. So let's click on it. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it has initiated the setup. So it's currently being downloaded. It's only 29 MB and it's done. So I'm going to click on it. And it is going to ask for permission whether I should let this app run or not. So there we go. All right, now remember to click on add Python 3.9 to path. So click on install now. And now you need to verify. So we are going to click on yes. And after this process, you will have Python 3.9.1 in your system. All right, so as you can see, the setup was successful. So let's click on close. All right. Now we are going to check whether our Python installation was correct or not. Okay, so let's open command prompt. I'm going to press Windows R to open this run panel and we are going to type CMD and press enter. So let's access the Python shell. So we are going to type Python and here we can do some basic mathematics to test whether Python is successfully getting our commands and is spitting out answers. So 10 plus 2 plus 12, all right. And now we're going to test whether this letter A in a string form is greater than letter B in a string form or not. And if you already know that the ASCII code of A is lesser than B. So the answer to this particular question should be false. So let's see. And yes, it is false. So currently our Python installation is working very nicely. So that's it for this video. And I hope you visit my other videos on Python as well. And please do check out the Flask tutorial series that I have on my YouTube channel. So let's exit out of this. For exiting, you need to type exit and then parenthesis. And now we are currently in our command prompt shell. All right, so let's exit out of it as well. And that's it. Please do subscribe, like, and share this video as much as you can. It will really help me out in supporting this channel and creating new videos as well. So take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.